Okay, Sayag or Cat? Sayag is more interesting than Cat. Isn't Sayag the best hero in the game right now? Nah, not even close. But he's good. He's a top 25 hero. Huh? Both are doable. Let's see the rewards. Soul Pact has to be better. Is ETC the best hero in the game? Um, ETC is also a bit risky. No need to hold your applause. The best hero would be somebody with like a lot of armor that has a decent hero power, I think. Welcome back. We have much to talk about. Do you have a hero tier list? I don't have a tier list. I stopped making them. I feel like um Usually it's enough to just play the game a lot and say what heroes I like and what heroes I don't like rather than make like a hard concrete tier list. Just kidding, I'm just lazy. I don't know, I don't want to make a tier list usually because it's a lot of work and then the meta game changes with a patch and then all that work is in vain. Have you spoken to Anduin lately? Our relationship Draw is back the velvet curtain. Nice. Micro Mommy putting in the work. Ooh, Patient Scout super good here. Good. You need more minions. Second mommy, let's go. Yes. I could buy the mug and hold it. Maybe my second quest is gonna be battle cry requiring. It's either mug or it's a rider and you play it, the rider. I kind of like the mug though. I kind of like the mug because I can hold it for my second quest. Yes. Uh, Timbo2206, thank you for the sub, Timbo. And also, RDU Desk Smash, which never happens, by the way. Thank you for the 18 months. Too many more smashes. Hopefully, I'm gonna smash my opponents, not my desk. I had some really rough games in the last hour and a half, and I didn't really rage yet. Maybe I'm too chill right now, I don't know. We could have tied, right? Cyclones, thank you for the 40 months. He ward yet. Let's see if holding the mug was good. Ready to tamper with the yes! Zero hour, thank you for the six months. Play six battle cries. And cooked book. Is cooked book good together with soul pact? Meh. How many battle cries do we have? Not that many battle cries actually. Add 10 cards to your hand is much easier. And it's much better with soul pack too. Hmm. Again guys, the problem with book is that there's not that many battle cries in the game right now. But anima bribe is kind of bad as well. Let's do it. <coughs> Did you agree with the tier list made by Oliech, Cytro, etc? I haven't seen the tier list. Uh, Master Pain, thank you for the sub. Is it like a quest tier list or a hero tier list? I like Patient Scout giving me a 2-drop. How did you get one extra gold on turn 3? Uh, Patient Scout in the shop. I got lucky. So for the people that just tuned in, my quests are currently so packed with the requirement of buy 10 minions and cooked book with the requirement of play 6 battle cries. It looks good, but we have a problem. Very few battle cries in this lobby until you get to tavern 4. So I'm thinking if my shop sucks, I just go to 4 next turn and then finish my quest on 4. It's a little bit quick. Usually with cookbook you want to underlevel, not power level. You must do every 
everything in your power. This shop is actually pretty good though. I like Rat Pack for the... Yeah, two gold every turn is really good. Maybe you roll and you try to um, find the battle cry. But what if you don't find the battle cry? There just aren't many battle cries. Okay. Once I have the quest done, this is gonna feel good, but it might take me too long to get the quest done. So maybe just bought this. Pretty solid. Soldiers for gold. How barbaric. We should be able to finish it next turn. And the thing is, we already have a good board, and we kind of want to just keep playing Max. Cooked Book works with the Soul Pact. And I don't need to rush Tavern 4, that's another really good thing. The quest combination is really good. I think you guys underestimate how quickly I'm going to skill once I have the quests. But yeah, it's taking a little bit long. So I hope I can uh, have the right timing. I hope I'll time it correctly. Okay. Bad trade. We might lose the fight because of it. Come on. Now we want to buy whatever. Macau and freeze. I don't need to go to four for a while. We can just grow our board on free. Tower four adds module war gear, and that's it. And like Cinderai, it also comes with a lot of baggage. 
It does the Murlocs as well if you want to go that route. I mean, we could go. It's only four gold. Maybe I'm exaggerating the cost. Four gold is not that much. Why sell the mistake? Because I don't think it's ever going to be a permanent minion. Whereas spawn can trigger with Macau. And get me like some value for like some fights that I really care about. But good question. Mistake is really good with Soul Pack, but he's gonna get outscaled by Cookbook, so he's never a permanent minion. Right? I mean, you could module it and make it a permanent minion. Maybe I'm underestimating it. You're right. I think I might be underestimating it. Why did he go to Tavern 5 with Sinfall? Always feels weird. I like this shop a lot. I like Tortolan in case I lose a fight. And yeah, I think Anima Bribe could have also been good with Usol Pact. I just feel like Kurbuk is a bit crazier late game. So if we're not getting absolutely destroyed early mid game, we are very likely to just win late game. But we'll see if I was able to approximate it right. Sire is very interesting because it puts you in situations that you haven't been before. Creating uh, combinations of two quests that you never played together with. And you can only like think how it's gonna be, but before you actually try it, it's only an experiment, right? Rough. Small, but it may prove pivotal. Soldiers for gold. How barbaric. Hire one of these fine recruits. A calculated choice. Choose your fighter. I like Accorditron over Wargear because I feel like I'm strong enough to win. My board is really good for turn 10. I have very big Deflecto with a million resets. Mech in Hand could have given you an extra reset. Yeah, but keeping the Mech in Hand was inefficient. I'll do Mech in Hand and reset with Base Gear later. I also have like so many resets, I don't think I need another one. Do you don't do you, do you not think I have enough resets? Also, making hand is good for the um, copter because you buff it. So I will be doing that. Okay, I'm having my eyes on that. Just I didn't think that now was the spot to do it. You were a magnificent audience. A million equals free. I mean, free, well positioned, well timed resets is more than enough in my opinion. Practice. 
It appears a triple is available. I think you just trade mommy for mommy. And then stop, start of next turn you triple. So this summons the base gear, sorry the war gear. I like it. We still have three resets. I hope we're not gonna get uh, encountered by like a taunted leer or something. Does it summon left to right? No, 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 it summons highest health. So it summons war gear and then bronze. I don't like taunting the base because when you golden it, it's going to summon two. Yeah, and you might lose value out of it. I agree. Maybe I should have taunted the copter. Taunting the copter was better because I could uh, schedule my board a bit more efficiently. I, I, I hope this is not going to get punished. But it is a mistake. I, I agree with you. I'm always thinking short term when it comes down to taunts. Rather than think, is it going to come back and bite me? And sometimes you cannot afford to play around it, but I think this was a spot where I could have. I wasn't that pressured. Like, yes, I'm low health, but my board is sick for the current turn. So I shouldn't have felt the pressure. And I could have just made the more coherent game plan. I want to spread my stats a bit. Think carefully now. I'm gonna summon an oil with this, and it's still a reset. Yeah, my board is like really good right now. I like it like this. <laughs> now I can just cut one of the base gills. Do you freeze for the mistake? Mm, I mean, it's good. It's a buff to my entire board. I don't know, it, it's okay. Can't we do better though? Are we at the point where we still wanna buy every single minion offered? Or do we just go for like magnets? By the way, the latest change to magnets made the uh, cooked book and mechs better in general. The latest change uh, being whenever you magnetize a minion, it goes back to the pool. I think we're strong. We just want second deflecto and then I think we are unbeatable. This guy is really big. If we beat this guy, I have no worries. And then if we lose, we're dead. So it's a pretty high stake uh, match. 98% says Firestone. Well, never worry about your odds. I would have been worried, but after the Firestone calculation, I'm sitting nice and relaxed here. Just waiting for my minions to win the fight. Hashtag ad. It's crazy how powerful this guy was and we deleted him. If you insist. Oh my god.
I want my whole board to be good. And yeah, you want to play your magnets before rolling, but we were blessed with like so many magnets. Any play pretty much wins here. It's kind of crazy how big you can get over a few turns. Seems like my bet with going a packed cookbook worked out. Although, if I wouldn't get the battle cries on that turn, I think I would have top aided. I wish it had a different requirement on the book, but now we still made it work out. I trust your discretion out there. This guy is stronger. He's not stronger, but he's strong. He's strong because he has 20% to beat me. And the problem is if he beats me, he probably also kills me. It's better to be lucky than good. I agree with that generally, but why mention it here? Do you think I played badly or something? York died to the ghost. Let's first go for the Tad, actually. That's a good man to keep in your hand, by the way. Yeah, I was gonna say I wanna go for a magnet. My deflecto wants some uh, stats. My deflecto is hungry for some stats. I wonder if I should level to 5 for more damage. Probably not needed. It's a waste of gold and I decrease my likelihood of finding magnets. And right now I wanna find triple anoyotron for board space and then magnets. Don't you want to go for a huge Cinder Eye against this guy? I actually do. I think a huge Cinder Eye could be good. Let's see if his blaster changes anything. Percentage wise, I don't think it does. Because he doesn't get to kill my Deflecto and without killing my Deflecto, I don't really care about most of my resets. And now, the blaster might hurt him more than help him. Again, he's not killing my deflect though. And I still have two more resets ready to go. Okay. Well, we keep the same game plan. Menace is really good. A calculated choice. Cinderai is also really good, as, I be, as we talked about earlier. The kick is annoying if we cannot triple it.
ok Pretty straightforward. I was thinking of my positioning. And it's pretty okay, right? Nice. We managed to combine the quest into a win. I'm feeling a good game next. Ha ha! So, we can run it back with Sire. We can go Shadow Walk for Battle Cries in a Demon Lobby. Or we can go Yasharaj. I still like Sire the most. Most likely to get like really powerful uh, minions. A uh, quest, I mean. Nice hair. Thank you. Nice hair or nice hairstyle? You just like my hair, like how it looks like. Yeah, I'm happy that I got offered Sire. It's a fun hero. Not the best shop. Would have been a really good shop if I was the Shadow Walk. Uh. I think Blood Soaked Tome generally is like really good and can make a lot of the quests bonkers. But I also like this one. Mm. Tome is too good with other things. Getting mechs every turn is okay. But the requirement was also okay, but I, I, I don't want to like not do anything on turn one, you know? 35 minions die is difficult, but since we start early, I don't think it's impossible. You are mighty as the black dragon. Bro, that gave me anxiety. I was thinking, I knew what I was doing. I know how fast I can play. Difficult decision though. Difficult decision. Like, yeah, I could do it on 3 and already on 4 start getting max every turn. It's really good. But you have to like not do anything on one. Yeah, maybe you just go for it and skip turn one. It seemed a little bit weird, but maybe it makes sense. Interesting. <laughs> Come on, give me a good shop. I want some economy in here. Nice. Patient Scout saves the day again. Ah, I was hoping I eat Torn Captain so I can freeze the um, corpse. So maybe it was better to take the one four and then also corpse, but then you rely too much on the imprisoner timing. Yeah, maybe the null was better. Chat has a point. Maybe the null was better. Let's see what our second quest is gonna be. Welcome back. We have much to talk about. Mm. Attack 18 times summon 20 is doable. What goes better with that? I feel like Endless Blood Moon can go pretty well with the Tome. Yeah, it's Blood Moon for sure. Our board is kind of nasty. In a good way. Now we can go to free and then sit a little bit on free. And look for the Quillboard Death Rattle guy. What we kind of want to do is, when we have both quests completed, we could be cycling gems 
I mean, cycling Quillbore with Prophet. That's something that I need to keep my eyes on. We'll see. I'm not sure if I should put Piki second or fourth. I think second is good enough. Second is probably good enough. Okay. Yes! Gaza roof, thank you for the five months. Ready to tamper with the affairs of mortals? Rise and we take it, right? Destiny. If you find Ness Matron here, you're so happy. I'm happy with Ring Matron as well. Ring Matron farms. Why not go for early Anubarak? Because I have no intention of playing Undead. I want to focus on finishing my quests and then I want to play something Quilbor related. So either Quilbor or Mex Quilbor. Undead are not good enough for me to focus on them right now. I think I would like Undead with like the Death Rattle quest or something, but with my current quests, I just don't see the reason to play Undead. And even as a minion, just like pure raw stats, Ring Matron is way better than the other guy. That's why I like it. I like my opponent taking some good trades. If the fight is closer, that's better for me, right? Okay, we're going pretty deep on both quests. I like the numbers going up, 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 up without me doing anything. It's so satisfying. I love me some close fights. Oi, oi, oi. I like Handless Forsaken. I was trying to see if there's a reason to triple buy. No reason to triple buy. So I like the Jazzer, but I think I'm gonna go for the Bristle Boy. To get those juicy UC gems. Okay, chat. Those juicy gems. They seem very good here. Oh yeah, you freeze, you freeze, you freeze, you freeze. Sorry, sorry. Next time I probably go up by the Jazzler. And then we see from there. Hopefully we finish both quests. In an ideal world, we finish both quests, okay? Saved by chat. Guys, guys, guys. Please, let's not sit here and pretend. That if Twishat wouldn't be here, I would not see the freeze. I had 20 seconds, I would have seen it. Okay? <laughs> the freeze, the 1317 should be good for me now. It gives me time to do all my attacks. I might lose the fight, but it's worth it. Isn't it satisfying to complete both quests at the same time? And not even lose the fight. We actually got exactly 18 attacks. That was so clutch. This is like a game winning spot. Only problem is that the pressure is on. Chad's gonna gonna say like, you're so bad if you lose here. And I guess I am. Hmm. Second scraps me if he's very good at generating. I wanna put all my stats on the Divine Shield, because at least the Divine Shield wins. Now we need Charlie. Now we need to just spam Quillbor. So like, I'm still looking for Prophet, I think. Prophet of the Boar. It's a good way to just like spam stuff. Isn't double sell good here? Mm. 
You're onto something, Chad. Okay, this play I wouldn't have seen. Double seal is actually good here. This play I'm not claiming that I would have seen. Thank you, Chad. I trust your discretion now. 15k to each Chad. With the galaxy brain plays. Aren't we gonna have too many gems? No, we're gonna have exactly 10, right? If I calculate it correctly. Battlegrounds is such a great game when you have matches like this. Prophet? Hire one of these fine recruits. Prophet is just the best with uh, the Tome. And now we don't even need to buff our gems, we just need to generate a lot of gems. Which technically should be easier. And now we just take out the Rider and then go bam 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 bam! And we just make a huge board. Ideally you want to town the tough task and then get another tough task. And then triple the Prophet for board space and then triple the Scrapsmith for board space. And then discover sixes for Charlie. And then get Drakari and then get uh, kicked up by using Chad. I don't know, you don't need to do all of those. You can just sit on Tavern 4 and like spam. And make a full board of like 70-70s and it's a non-Murloc lobby, you should be able to win. Rotani Mod, thank you for the 12 months. Like, do you guys not think I should just stay on 4 and grind the gems? I think it's the best thing I can do. Leveling seems like a waste of time. I think you should level with the next triple. I agree with that. But I don't think we should level without a triple. I like leveling when I have a good reason to level. But I hate just leveling without any reason. Bradleen, thank you for the sub. By the way, he's gonna steal a pretty good minion now. Minus two gems, lol. This is perfection. Bury the bone. I actually want to take a six. I don't want to buy a minion because if I buy a minion, guys, if I buy a minion here, I'm going to get less gems. And I don't want to compromise that. Isn't that funny? 
Like now we get 10 gems perfectly. It's weird, but probably correct. I think I should have just gotten like a minion and then sell. Guys, 8 plus 2 at the start of turn. Hello? Don't forget, this quest gives you two gems. If you insist. See? Ah, unlucky. No Charlie. Let's buff this guy a bit. I don't want to buff the zap because zap is what I kick if I don't get the triple. <laughs> Such a low roll. Okay, let's see what the lobby has. I mean, this this test is going crazy on, on Undead. Vandar is only scary because of the lock yet. Death Speaker is probably very good with Blood Moon. Hmm. The whole lobby is scary one way or another. I still think we are having a really good game and we can probably leverage this to mm, at least the top three. But it would be nice if we can win. Burn away the competition. Okay. Making a huge cleave would be fun. If you insist. Choose your True, but right now I just want to make big gems. Ah, I missed the gem. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, let's go be clear. your destiny maybe it's better to put all the gems on the bristle main and then transfer bristle main to the cleave but the thing is I don't want to all in on the cleave I want a nice board overall because otherwise you lose to the locket right they can just steal minions we gotta be careful I think I mean, we're probably beating him and we're probably dealing a lot of damage. But if it ain't lethal, it's still gonna be scary. At least to some extent. Top 3.
Economy is good. I think the rest we can skip. Uh, Town Giver maybe was good. I think I rolled too quickly. Town Giver was probably good. Second tough task. I don't want to commit too many gems to the second tough task because if I have to kick a minion, he's going to be my kick. Yeah, I should have definitely taunted uh, something. At least the four report, if not the tough task. You're exposing yourself to Leroy, but you're already a little bit exposed to Leroy and to Queen. <laughs> this looks good. Okay. I'm fighting the guy with the lock yet. This should be good enough. To buff the Charlie a bit as well. Right now it's kind of like a small minion. This is best positioning around Cleave. No Divine on your tough task. Uh, he's gonna get Divine from the Charlie. Is the 6-9 not good now? Now in this game? I, I don't have where to play it. I don't think it's worth a freeze. I don't have the money to buy it now. I'm looking for triple tough task and divine on four reaper. And then just more minis that I can cycle for my profit. Cleave second might be better. Because he knows I have a cleave. Burn away the competition. He stole my cleave. Forgipper into Leroy is okay. Hopefully it goes into the Leroy. Okay. Huh. I wanna end it now. The longer the game goes with his low hit, the more dangerous he's gonna become. Good. Sire feels so rewarding to play. I like the hero a lot. Especially when I win. Haha. <laughs>